Mm. For those of you who don't know this, I tend to live, uh, especially now, more and more in isolation. Just checking. All right. It takes a lot of energy for me to get ready for the day, to do everything. As you know, um, for those of you who follow me, I have a pneumonia. Let me just fill this up. the battery. I don't trust these batteries anymore. <laughs> and I don't want to reshoot. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting better. The, end, the second bottle of antibiotics are working. I did a, a nasal rinse also. I'm not doing them as much. Maybe I should go just boil the water and do it now. But um, it takes a lot for me to get ready in the sense that um, I don't want to. I don't have energy and I don't want to see people. You know what I mean? It's. very stressful for me. And. I did my first w workout. <laughs> I did uh, the bench press, <laughs> just a little bit, just to kind of do it, and then see how I feel afterwards. I was tired already. I have no energy, that's the problem. And another problem is I'm so scared to screw up my, my immune system. I'm living in fear right now, you know? So I'm starting off here at my home gym where I trained people in the past tense and slowly try to bring my confidence up and my, my, my endurance up, my body up, everything, you know? Um, another thing that's a main problem is that I have this guy I've been off and on with for 22 years and since I was taking my, you know, human relations therapy course on how to talk authentically, I can't talk with him because he takes everything as an insult. And he's very, he doesn't communicate. He'll communicate as a nurse, you know, you should take this medicine, this medicine, but he won't talk about feelings or ask me about feelings. And so. <clears throat> I've isolated myself from him because I, I can't. I hold it in all the time. And that's what he wants. And I don't want that. So that's a big source of my pain. Uh, that makes me completely alone. And also, it's a question of since I bought four businesses that aren't doing well, it requires a lot of work, you know. And I tend to get engulfed in so much work, you know. So it's about me trying to balance my life, you know, to enjoy what I'm doing and to be happy, which right now I'm not. And my body gets sick.
So, I procrastinate a lot. I'm going to my gym business now, but I have three things to do beforehand. And I wait until the last minute before doing them. And it takes a lot out of me to just do it, you know? It doesn't matter if I'm late, because I own the business. And I have to get used to that. That I have no one to answer to except myself. But I have the voices in my head, you know, my parents saying that you amount to nothing. So it still stays with me. And I want to so badly get out of that and I can't. At least I'm getting the urge to uh, film more videos, but with less pressure. It's all about less pressure. Just do them as I please and don't let it build up, you know? And get overwhelming. And that's hard for me. Because everything overwhelms me now. So. <clears throat> it's all about one step at a time again. But everything overwhelms me. Everything. Trying my best to take care of myself. This is the hardest time right now for me. So I guess I'm looking for support, you know. I got a couple people, random people, and then there's Erica. I never met, but <laughs> it means a lot to hear your support. I won't lie. So, uh, trying to make myself look presentable because I can't lose control of everything. I've lost control of my body, my, my health and fitness. I have to slowly rebuild that. Everything can go, you know? But I already knew that. So, I'm going to upload this. Get ready to get out. Bye.